say just before we start, I was a fan of Molly May before she blew up and became controversial on Twitter. I've been I've been there from the beginning. Ah, um, this is going to be really interesting to have your perspective on it. Excellent, <laughs> excellent stuff. That's good stuff. The, the, the clip that has kind of gone viral is she said everyone's got 24 hours in a day, um, which comes from a very famous Beyonce. Instagram meme, which is beyond, yeah, the Beyonce thing. Beyonce has the same number of hours in a day as you, which is obviously a tongue in cheek way of saying, you know, look how successful Beyonce is and look how unsuccessful you are. Molly May said that in a kind of fairly serious way on a podcast and uh, she worded it in a way that maybe wasn't the best, uh, wasn't the most uh, articulate way of uh, making the point, uh, but it has been massively blown up to make her look like she is some sort of Thatcherite, uh, careerist, ruthless, um, privileged um, influencer, which I think she's been slightly harshly done by the podcast that she said it on was the Stephen Bartlett podcast mm. uh which is a kind of I, th- I forget what it's called but basically successful people go on there and talk about why they're successful that's that's what the podcast is which I think is really important context for why she was saying what she was saying but the podcast is about why are you successful so in that context her saying what she said isn't quite as bad and I just feel like like, I don't agree with what Mo- Molly Mo- May said. Like, I don't agree that everyone has the same opportunity to become as successful as Molly May because obviously our backgrounds define the starting point that we go from. And Molly May did happen to come from a reasonably privileged background and she does seem to be slightly oblivious to that in this particular clip. Now, obviously, if you were to sit down with Molly May, she might be really self-aware about that privilege. Who knows? But in this clip, she does appear uh, oblivious to it. And I understand that that is, you know, I don't agree with that personally. However, the vitriol and backlash she has received based on it is just so disproportionate and so uh, nasty that it makes, it's everything I hate about Twitter because she hasn't said anything that is like evil, you know? She has said something that maybe is slightly misjudged and maybe requires some debate, but it does not make her... Uh, Hitler. You know what I mean? Like, that's the way she's been mm. portrayed, as if she's suddenly the most evil person, right-wing, kind of uh, unsympathetic human being. And ultimately, she's just someone who said something, uh, and it maybe has been taken out of context. Maybe it hasn't, but either way, we don't really know. Um, and also, even if she does have quite factual right views about individualism and, uh, you know, how you can progress in the world and the maybe the idea that she, maybe she does believe that if you work hard, that's all you need to succeed. Maybe she does believe that. And actually, so do a lot of people in the world believe that. I personally think it's a lot more nuanced. But that isn't that doesn't make her evil. That makes her mm-hmm. like that makes her like agree with probably like majority of the UK. So Twitter is in, sometimes in this little bubble that thinks everyone agrees with the sort of metropolitan liberal elite arguments. Um, and actually, I don't think uh, she said anything that, you know, uh, I, mean, I don't agree with it, but I think the vitriol has been really unfair. And I think if a man said it, and men have said it on that exact podcast, and this is the point that Stephen Bartlett said, mm. lots of men have gone on that podcast and said very similar things, uh, and they've not received anywhere near the backlash. But because she's a successful young female, I think she's attracted a lot more hate. 